gosh, holy cow. Glad that didn't break. I've seen a lot of people customizing these intricately, I don't know what you call that, mirrors like this. Got this for five bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. Just had to go to their house and pick it up. Super safe. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna custom paint this one with mustard. How's that gonna work? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. Let's go. So we'll give it a quick scuff, quick clean, and it'll look like this. All right, so I was gonna do some fancy transitioning, but it took a ridiculously longer time to paint this because of all the different surface areas. And if you look closely, I still have some red poking through, but I'm okay with that. And I also wanna tell you why I painted it white because fluorescents are somewhat transparent. So I just wanna show you that. And now we're gonna transition this to being painted. And there we have it, all nice and painted. Hey, look it, we're outside too. Before I get started, I wanna try a little test. You know, nobody likes that little glob of juice you get when you first squirt the mustard. Oh, that is really floppy. Okay, I need a stream, guys. Yeah? Oh gosh, that smells terrible. I'm a little nervous about putting mustard and black paint on this because I kind of like it the way it looks, you know? All right, I guess we're just gonna have to go for it. I have no idea of a technique here. So I'm gonna go high and kind of flick it. Oh gosh, I got it on my tripod, oh my gosh. I hope this works. Oh, get closer, okay. That's a good idea. You let it get some air, okay. This does, oh it pooted. This does not go as nicely as Don Dish Soap. And uh, it, oh gosh, quit pooting on me. Dang it, man. We might just have to go with a splattery look on this one. That's gonna be cool. Come on, guy, give me some. Dude, I should've got a brand new bottle. This might be expired. That might be, I don't know. Hold on, put your finger on there. Get a flick, get it to the end. Come on, man. I guess we just got a bunch of poots here. Mustard poot. Okay, I'm good. I'm done with that. Let's go. It smells horrible. Oh, where's my cap? Okay, here goes nothing. Whew. Ooh, that's actually pretty, pretty cool looking. What if I don't cover it solid? I don't know. I really have no clue at this point. If you're wondering why I'm out of breath, I had to run because my spray paint didn't have a nozzle on it. I think this is actually gonna look good if I can get the mustard smell off of it eventually. Get in all those little grooves. This is not my preferred spray technique. There we go. Nice and smooth. So this is taking forever to get the full coverage because of all the surface areas. I got the hose on over there. As soon as I get done hitting all these little crevices, this really smells terrible. Mustard and spray paint together, I should have had my mask on. God, I don't like spraying like that. All right, I think we're gonna call that. We're just gonna let it sit. I said call it. That means quit spraying. Quit There's so much mustard on the ground. It looks like a hot dog massacre. I'm just gonna let it flatten out a little bit and then bring the hose to it. It'll take a few more minutes than usual because uh, I had spray so much because of these different surface areas. All right, I have no idea on the time frame. I'm just gonna say we're ready and we're just gonna go for it. Oh, look at that. Holy cow, I gotta get a little. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. Ooh, that's like magic when you unveil it. Look at that. Oh, hey, easy there, buddy. Jeez, who'd have thought mustard would be so hard to wash off? Oh, look at that. Dude, that's sick. You gotta get all the angles of this mug, because who wants to leave real mustard and get rotten on there? That's a, that's, there's a negative right there for the, must, for the mustard technique. Rinse it off my tripod. All right, let's check that out. Wash it off my bucket so I can take it back inside and it not smell like mustard in the garage. Uh, okay, you ready for this? All right, so I let it dry. I put two coats of the Mate Clearé on it. I feel like I had to spray it so much more than I normally would because of all the surface angles, but I'll show it to you and then I'll give you some final thoughts. Look at that. Look at that. What? I mean, this came out super clean. I painted with mustard. It's kind of nuts. Who would have thought you could do that? 